Inclusion drives engagement, and engagement drives achievement. And if students are going to achieve, they need to see themselves included and being a part of the curriculum. We both went through the school system here in Canada, went on to post-secondary, studied education, and here we are, Ontario certified teachers working within the system. Educators have gaps in their education, and if they've got gaps in their education, then their students are gonna have gaps as well. One of the challenges that we face is the idea that black history should be contained to February, and then also that black history is predominantly dominated by black Americans, and that's the one that should be told. And we believe that the black Canadian experience has so much to offer. We've been in this country for over 400 years. A lot of people don't know that there was enslavement of black people in Canada for 200 years. There was segregation in Canada. We often think that that's an American phenomenon and we don't realize that this is something that was happening here in Canada as well. People have achieved in spite of barriers, in spite of racism, and so we need to know that so that people who are not black and who have not had the experience can understand why we want to talk about the first black lawyer in Canada or the first black doctor in Canada from back in the 1800s, which a lot of people too don't realize that the excellence is coming from way back. It's not just a new phenomenon. It's not just for black students or for black educators, it's for Canadians. What we're doing right now as curriculum consultants gives us the opportunity to make change and affect change outside of the classroom. So we're actually teaching and helping educators across the country understand the importance of the black Canadian experience. And we're hoping that these systemic changes that we're trying to move forward, it will trickle down and really impact every student in Canada. Mm -hmm.